Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians, Aries here with the video. For all of you out there, I got a couple things to say on my video blog for tonight. So, first of all, Angela wrote me some letters. She told me they were by email, they were in the mail. So I go to my box today and I get six nice letters, right? I sent her out to uh, giving my answers to some of them and etc. I'm working on the third one right now. Should be ready uh, soon. Uh, anyways, Aaron's got an application he's filling out tonight before bed so I can get it out in the mail tomorrow via priority mail. And then we got to get some cash tomorrow before going to the library so I can actually copy uh, some stuff. So he'll go in with me, we'll browse the books, we'll check out a few things, we'll uh, do a few things we need, then we'll leave. I also need Aaron to go through my list here and update it. Because there's a couple books in here that I'm not going to be uh, buying. Now, uh, some of the books that came in that requested that I actually borrowed from the library and actually read them, which I gotta put the ones right here, I requested some, was this one when I was waiting for it, where the trout are long as your legs. This one. As you can see, this book is small. I'll be doing a review shortly on Living Simply Fun. This book so far is tiny. Yeah, that's right. Very tiny. I'll be returning it tomorrow. Aaron said he wasn't interested. This mostly has stories on it. The guy also wrote one called Trout Bum. Haven't read with that one. I've requested it, though. Standing in the river with, in a, with a, waving a stick. Even tr Brook Trout Get the Blues. I requested that one. Dances with Trouts. I have... Uh, Requested that one. Uh, Death Taxes and Leaky Waiters. That's another one I requested. The Unknown Fisherman. I've requested that one. Sex, Death, and Fly Fishing. That's another one I requested. Another Lousy Day in Paradise. I requested that one. And The View from Rat Lake. Now, before I go into details, those books might be as tiny as these. So, for the price, it's not worth it. Now... The guy's name is John Gearock. He makes some pretty good books. So far, this one here was good. Um, the one I'm reading right now that I was thinking it would be perfect for Angela to read would be this one. It's all about fishing bamboo and the old bamboo rods. Fly rods, exactly. I'm halfway through the book already. Um, I'm going to return this probably after I do a review on it. Uh, this one I'll start tomorrow. This one will probably take me all day tomorrow, and I'll return it Wednesday or Thursday. It's called The American Angler Guide to Fly Fishing for Trout. I'll be reviewing this one on Amazon as well, and then I will return it. Hey, I've seen this guy before. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice huge trout. Look at that. It's things like that that make you smile. So, anyways, um... Uh, on top of that, the last book I will be reading and uh, reviewing is called Fly Fishing for Sea Cut uh, Cutthroat. Basically, they're like trout that get into the sea. And, well, so far from what I've read, uh, and I've been reading it off and on, the book's only 170-some pages, but 180 pages. But this book is going to be a fast read for the weekend because... It's all about sea run fish. Now, for some of you out there, I requested it because I am for trout. I didn't know that this was going to be about, you know, a lot of types of people say sea run cutthroat. They're talking about the cutties or the cutty trouts in rivers. And then people are like, oh, yes, this is a good cutthroat. Yes, but this guy here is talking about actually in the sea, where to find them, etc. Sorry to say that it kind of is going to be an interesting read anyways. I'll be returning this Friday. This one I'll be returning uh, Wednesday or Thursday. And these two will be returned probably tomorrow. If I do a review tonight, it's going to be because I'll be up late. That's right. Aaron and I have decided that we're staying up. Even though we'll be at his house, we're going to be watching The Blood Moon tonight. Yay! Blood Moon! <laughs> So, anyways, um, today was simple. Like I said, I got out of bed a, a little bit uh, later, about an hour and a half, two hours later. Need the extra sleep. Got out of bed, loafed around. I read a lot of the Bible. I was going to tell you about that. Got through Hebrews. I'm on the next one. I believe Hebrews, and it's like P uh, First Peter, I think. No, uh, the epistle of James. I think Paul's done. 
Anyways, it's like the Epistle of James. <coughs> so I got James, Peter, 1 Peter, 2, I think it is. Then John, 1, 2, and 3, and then Revelation. So I got like 25 pages to get to Revelations. Then I got to read Ecclesiastics tomorrow. And I'm reading, I believe, day 15. Day 15 of our daily bread. Now, day 15 is not bad. Um, today wasn't bad at all. Yeah, day 15 is called Corky. So, they're talking about my neighbor downstairs. Hmm. This book is really interesting. So, anyways, I'm running out of stuff to write Angela anyways. So, you know. But anyways, Angela's going to probably hear my opinion on these books via letter. I found this one to be interesting. I am going to do some research tonight before bed on uh, the rest of the John Gerick books. Finding out how big they are. And why they're so expensive. Aaron was talking about them. I might just have him pick up the entire collection. So long as he can find the same dealer or the same, uh, uh, what do you call it? Author. Because I really don't, or not author, uh, store. I got to ask him about that. I got to also ask Amazon, which means I got to ask Aaron to help me out there. On figuring out this whole Amazon shipping thing. Um... So, yes, I will be reviewing uh, other books as they come in. I also plan to order some more books when the other books are approved uh, or denied. Uh, I think my little uh, legend here in the back uh, read it, yes, and then there's a pound which is borrowed from a library, and that's it. Uh, on hold price wait, requested by a library. Yeah, so uh, the library will be uh, getting more requests from me. I'm trying to get this list knocked down. And the only way to do it is to read them as fast as I can. So, but uh, yeah. Uh, so far, I have to say um, that these ones here, like this one, Fly Fishing for Trout is going to be great. Um, some of these ultimate guides they put together aren't really that great. I was going to explain that in a letter to Angela eventually. So... Anyways, uh, got out of bed, did my business. There was no emails, pretty much. I was kind of bummed out about that. I like looking for business emails or personal emails, nothing. Got done with that, moseyed along to have coffee and stuff. Finally, Aaron popped out of bed, and he's like, yeah, I'm not ready yet. Well, I asked if I need to go to the li post office library. Help yourself. I said, well, I haven't had my shower yet. Oh, well, by the time you do that, I'll be ready. So I went in the shower. We got together. Went over to the library. I got some copies for Angela for some fly rods and uh, reels. I mean, uh, I got to do fly rod still. Uh, the last of the fly rod project. Problem is, is I can only do ten pages, and thus I want to pay additional cost. Then I decided after that to uh, plan tomorrow to go anyways. I got to copy up a application for Angela so I can mail it off to her in her priority envelope. Told Angela there's only three applications due in. There's no more applications due out except for what she's going for her. That I'm sending her and then priority envelopes are done. All I got to do is finish up getting her the last of her gifts because there's a collection set that I'm working on. Once it's done, it's done. And then uh, maybe her Amazon wish list. I'm hoping she'll come out like we were talking about. So... Anyways, uh, the visit, etc. So, um, the, uh, thing is, after I got done with that, we went home, had some lunch, went out to the store. I didn't spend a lot of money. I spent, like, eight bucks, nine bucks, ten, no, ten. I got some cabbage for the 16th. I think it's the 16th. Might be the 17th. It's corned beef and cabbage on the 16th. So, tomorrow we're doing... I think we're doing cold veggie pizza tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Cold veggie pizza, I think, is what it is. Or Thai peanut soup. Anyways, uh, Thai peanut soup might be on the 17th, but you get the point. So I'll be defrosting corned beef, having it ready to go. Crock pot's ready. I have corned beef cabbage. I'm looking forward to it. And then, you know. So afterwards, I went over to the library. Like I said, I got four books, came home, read the one. Went out again to the store, came back. We were just getting ready to have having uh, stuff. A guy comes from across the street, the old apartment complex. 
He wanted to see my apartment. It's like, dude, I'm busy. Aaron was on the phone, so now we got to call up uh, the, pleep, the people again. Or I got to schedule it for tomorrow because we were disturbed. So we got applications to fill out, phone calls to make. I'm hoping the applications don't get delayed. Aaron's like, oh, well, we're putting in the water. We should have no trouble. Uh, yeah, there is some trouble. So I told him not to get his hopes up. And we got to send out the rest. So... Anyways, tonight I'm doing this, then after this is uploaded, I will be doing a review of this, then I will be doing a review, uh, possibly, of uh, Fishing Bamboo, I'm looking forward to the Amazon review of it, because so far it's very good, the guy's kind of wordy, but he's explaining everything of the bamboo maker, so it's very well put, so... With that said, um, I was blessed well with four books today, and I'm expecting four more to come in. Three are supposed to be coming in. The fourth one, they don't know when. It's called A Fistful of Newtons or Fig Newtons. It's another Shepherd's book, which me and Aaron love. The guy is very good, and I like the Ralphie Parker series, or a.k.a. Ralphie, uh, Ralph, uh, uh, you know, Gene Shepherd's character, you know, uh, plays Ralphie Parker in The Christmas Story. It's his, it's his story. He wanted a Red Rider gun for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. So, with that said, you know the rest. Please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. Please add me as a friend if you like. Please post suggestions, comments, and feedback. Thank you. May God bless the world.